Yo, what up? It's Aaron Moses. And this video is about how to quit drug dealing, how to stop selling drugs. Okay, so my first piece of advice is pass the plug. Pass the plug. Give somebody else your plugs, your connections that are trustworthy, that won't fucking rob them, that you know, that you know. Somebody who is worthy of having that information that will help because the person won't call you and fucking see you in the street and try to interact with you a certain way you know what i mean so next of course the same thing past the connects the connects calling you and contacting you is going to be the hardest part because this is like a drug for some people it's their lifestyle and you don't need people, if you start drinking, you don't need people constantly inviting you to the bar and shit like that. And just in your face with this shit. Um, when, the, when they call you, you know, you can either take the friendly approach and say, I don't do that shit anymore. Please don't call me asking for that shit. I'm trying to change my life. Um, some people just don't accept that. Some people think you're putting on the front. And that you're just trying to lay low because it's hot or whatever. You could take the mean approach. Look, don't call my fucking phone. I don't fucking, I don't know you. You don't need to be calling me. I don't know who this is. Who is this anyway? Who is this? I don't know any fucking Tim. Don't fucking call this number. You could fucking have somebody else do that for you. Your girl or some shit. But, um, yeah. Next. Remind yourself why you stopped. If, it, if it's not something, if it's a choice that you're making according to positivity, not if it's too hot, not if I'm on probation, I just can't do it right now. If you make that conscious decision, then you should remind yourself why you are not doing what you're doing. Whether it's, you know, um... You know, I'll be a little safer. I don't got to worry about my mom getting hurt, my people, you know, shit like that. Um, meditate on the on the liberation of not having that stress, of not having that responsibility, of being able to fucking sleep at night. Through the night, having eight hours of un... un uh, God damn, these fucking flies, boy, I tell you of having uninterrupted sleep, being able to take your girl out without people trying to fucking buy drugs from you on a date, you know, shit like that. Next, I would say get a hobby. Besides the obvious getting a job, get a hobby, you know, get in the studio, do whatever you gotta do. Replace your money. Obviously, that means get a job, replace your money. You, If you just stop drug dealing without any other way of getting money, I mean, it's kind of inevitable that you will go back to drug dealing or doing some kind of crime. Next, socialize with people who are not in that business, who are not a part of that underground lifestyle. If you either if if you want to go to a club, if you want to go to, you know, a gym, if you want to start hanging out with your family a little bit more again, you know, I definitely advise that. Next, I would say, don't interact with people who are selling drugs because it's going to remind you, of course, of that lifestyle. And one of the first things that you see, one of two things that you're going to see when you stop selling drugs, you're either going to see somebody who is a much worse drug dealer than you, and they're fucking, you're hanging out with them, smoking the blunt, and they call it, yeah, I'm leaving right now. And they hit the blunt again, and they go in the refrigerator and make some fucking shit. And you're like, damn, I didn't. If that was me, I would already served him. You know, I'm not, I'm not like, I wasn't like that. Like, I need to get this nigga's number. This nigga needs to be out of the game. He's selling this bullshit as fucking weed. Like, that's, that's gonna happen to you. Or you're gonna run into a fucking real hot boy. Somebody who's doing it better than you used to. With fucking Benzes and jewelry. And then that shit's gonna make you a little envious. Or, or make you want to get back in so you can get that same watch or a car like that you know next would be of course 
don't socialize with the users. Don't hang out with your connects. If they if they weren't like your best fucking friend or somebody that was your family or some shit, you really don't need to be around them because they're going to end up asking you where they can get it or you can't just do this one last thing or you're going to end up fucking middleman and you're going to end up setting them up with a drug dealer that you know for like 10 bucks or for like $20 or some shit, which is, yes, yeah, some middleman shit. Or you're going to be buying the drug and it's not gonna, it's not really reading up. You're gonna go pick this shit up and fucking hold it and then sell it to them for like an extra $10 more than they, you know, middleman, middleman. Um, which will, could definitely either lead you to middlemaning or full fledged drug dealing again, which is obviously what you're trying to avoid. Um, next, I would say have a support system because, again, like I said, this is like being an addict to, to some people you know if you want to tell everybody I don't, I don't sell drugs anymore in your family you don't gotta be worried you can go to the movies um i got a job now and people are going to support that of course they all usually will and last